This is the first video that belongs to the Valve preprocessing tutorial. In this video we will load the geometry and we will extract just the geometry parts that are necessary for the CFD simulation. It means just the parts that are in contact with fluid. Let's start activating the geometry module here and then, then click new and the geometry module is active now. Now import the step file with the geometry of a valve. Click on File, Import, Step and select this valves s.step file and click on Open. The warning appears. If you would like to take into the account units embedded in the file, click on Yes and the geometry will be loaded. It's here and now click on one of the principal views to quickly zoom the geometry. Now you can activate the interaction style switch to be able to rotate, zoom and move the geometry by mouse. The whole geometry is in one piece now. To process it we would need to work with just smaller parts. So let's explode it into smaller parts. So go into the object browser here, uh, select the globe valves S in the object browser, then go into the upper menu to new entity, explode, and from the subshapes type select the type shell and click apply and close. Now, as you can see in the object browser, the geometry is split into 29 parts, into 29 shells. Uh, now, select the parts that are necessary for CFD simulations. So, it means just the parts that are in contact with the fluid. One of them is shell 10, in this case. So, select the shell 10, click with the right mouse button, the menu appears, and click on, on Show Only. So, and this is the part that we will process further at the moment. This part needs to be exploded into smaller parts called faces. So, let's explode it again to faces. So, select the shell 10 in the object browser, click on New Entity explode, select the subshape type face and click on apply and close. Now it says there will be 255 faces after the explosion. To proceed it further click on explode. So and now we don't need all the faces so let's hide all the unnecessary ones. You can select them by mouse and holding the shift key enables the multiple selection. Once you select something then you click with the right mouse button and the menu appears and you can click on hide which hides all the selected faces. And again select the unwanted faces, click with the right mouse button and click on hide. You should repeat these steps until you see just the faces of the original geometry that are in contact with the fluid. So, and that's it. This is the geometry for CFD simulation, just the inner part through the which the fluid flows. And the last thing that should be done in this first video is to merge all the necessary faces together to create a shell. So at first deactivate the interaction style switch to be able to select the whole visible geometry by mouse and select the whole visible geometry. And now go into the upper menu, new entity, build, shell, and here you can change the name of the shell you are going to create. 
So I will use the name region one two dash first version and click apply and close. You can now check in the object browser that the new shell appears there. Now it's time to save the progress. Just press Ctrl S or go to the many file and save and save your progress. For example, use the name part one dot this is the end of the first video. I do. You can now continue with the second one.